lost track of time, um, so I can't think how many days it's been. But it's been a few days and we've been trekking through all three mountains. This is uh, the traditional clothing of a Yamabushi. Um, I personally think this, uh, where the headdress is worn here, it's a bit like the rope that signifies a sacred place when you take on this, these robes, you become the sacred place. The white symbolises a symbolic death. Now I'm making this video with permission. Uh, we've all come back to the Shibuko because during a practice today somebody got ill. Uh, basically there's a practice where they burn chili, uh, some kind of chili powder and you're in a confined space and you need to meditate and hold on and be patient uh, through the, the pain in your eyes and the choking and uh, that was too much for someone today and uh, they felt very faint or, and may have even passed out I didn't see because I was obviously involved in the practice but it's during that practice I had an amazing breakthrough today. We've been walking day and night and meditating for many hours on end on rocks. We've been standing under the waterfall and we've been practicing this smokehouse uh, discipline. And we've been fasting, or you eat uh, uh, two meals, which is uh, two pickles. and. Um, some a bowl of rice. And today during that smokehouse uh, practice I realised that suffering was optional. I realised that there was a part of me that could opt out of suffering. And from this moment onwards I found that I can enjoy any form of challenge that I'm put through. It's not rare that we've been walking for five or six hours. And if you view it as an enjoyable challenge, it becomes so. The same with the waterfall. Children can play in the waterfall and cold water for a long time. And so their parents have to pull them out, so if you view it as enjoyable, you can stand under that waterfall. And it's hard, but you're not suffering. And the same with the smokehouse or any of the other practices. You can enjoy the challenge. And it makes me realise that the vast majority of suffering in life is optional.